What's up, what's up, Crypto Nation? It's your boy Sonny here at Crypto Kid YouTube channel. Okay, so the SEC is going ham on every on Telegram. They they are pressuring them and they stop they made them stop pushing token sales. All right. And if you see anything other on about Telegram's token sales, it's all a scam. They are they're not doing it anymore. So it's really bad. The SEC is cracking down on a lot of people and they're making it really difficult for cryptos and exchanges to really show their true potential. Okay. These are all regulators, by the way, for those of you who are first timers to cryptos. The regulators are, are, oh man, how do I say? They want, you know what? I don't even know why they want to make things so hard. I mean, there's things in cryptocurrency that need to be used in just because they're making it difficult for crypto nation for exchanges to get the word out there, they're not going to be able to stop it completely. I mean, Telegram, I I definitely use them a lot for crypto news and and get group chats going and all that. I follow Ripple, Verge, X or um, <laughs> Redcoin, you know, V Chain all on telegram they have the groups and that's where i get to communicate with a lot of the people that are involved with the industry and especially founders co-founders ceos they all run those group chats well not run but they have their team run it and they're able to get the word out there like that's like instant news right there okay but the sec is bringing halts to all that and they're making it somewhat of how do i say they're prolonging the process with mass adoption all right they're trying to take as long as they can as possible and there's a bunch of news articles about this i mean right here talks about retaining order you know emergency retaining order and all this mumbo jumbo here but we can see that there's quite a bit going on and especially for the month of october you know it's been two years since we had the last big crypto boom and my gut's telling me that this November, December, we might have another one. Who knows? Depending on how the trend goes. And ooh, sorry, I had a late night. Depending how trend goes, and if everything goes according to plan, you know, we might have another good, good blast. But Bitcoin is doing really good. Also, they, their all-time low in the past two years was like three thousand. And last time I checked. They were, they were just sitting right above 8,000. So actually, you know what? I, I just want to check that real quick. Let's just get that going. Coin market cap. I definitely suggest any of you who are new to cryptocurrency to check them out. They give the latest and greatest updates on, it's kind of like, Looking at your stocks in a way, if you are invested, yep, right over 8,000 right there. So we're doing really good compared to where we were at. <laughs> I mean, those were really depressing days when you're seeing Bitcoin go down to 3,000. You know, you're thinking, like, stop, stop, don't go far, don't go down any farther. And yeah, I remember when Litecoin was at number three spot. Ooh. 
in tether still staying solid at a dollar xrp doing good doing good i have i have some xrps i have quite a bit of friends that are involved with that coin too and they're they're holding strong they're definitely holding strong and i was right about about them going on the coinbase and all that before they actually went on and it's actually pretty pretty tight we have stellar tron i love tron love what they're doing monero dash mayo all these really good coins you know oh see v chain number 33 that's my that's my one right there and they're really really cheap so if i'm not a financial expert but i definitely suggest you well i definitely in my honest opinion i would say i would buy more you know what i mean yeah my fr one of my other friends he likes dodgecoin raven coin is another big one i believe i have some of them also so, yeah like i said i have so many coins it's hard to keep count i have more than the count of my fingers right here so and it's all about variety and diversity and to to really see the potential and to see like if one of them take off there's no doubt that that everything's going to be okay and if there's um increasing my chances of winning basically is what i'm trying to say and then zilica i have them too so i heard about this one i remember right right before i got into cryptocurrencies i joined the facebook group and about bitcoin and this one right here electrum i remember people were freaking out about them like girlfriends were getting mad at their boyfriends for for buying a lot of that and they were really tanking and then that kind of turned me off about cryptos but then then once the boom happened i was like oh snap i was like i cannot believe i did not get into this you know what i mean so it was like oh one of those like gut-wrenching mistakes but you live and you learn i guess right and that was one of the reasons why i started doing cryptocurrencies also is because i saw the potential in like i had the fear of missing out so and when the boom happened like i got in right when they were at their peak like right there they were like like as i was buying it was right here and then it went up a little bit doo -doo -doo, and then boom it tanked so i was like ah oh. i was like i shouldn't have did that i i went along and i i did a new mistake newbie mistake but it's not all it's not all that bad so just got to keep learning and learning the tricks of the trade i guess but that's pretty much what i have for today i hope you all enjoy it um hopefully the sec stops giving cryptos such a hard time and i'll leave some links in the description down below please subscribe to my channel give a like that helps my channel more than you know and yeah, take care, Crypto Nation, and thank you, world.